Hey Daryl, just quick, real quick, I want to show you some differences from the front view. Um, most swings look pretty good from the front. You can always tell more of uh, people's faults from the looking at the down the line. But I just wanted to show you here the difference in just one week makes and just changing the first two feet of your Sweden swing, how it's changed your back swing. So here's the uh, the original swing. At the top, you can see how it really doesn't look like you made uh, your coiled up very well because your hands are more outside, uh, way outside of your actually between your head and your and your arm. As we talked about, they're outside of where we want them to be. So. Uh, your shape is great. I wouldn't have to mess with anything as far as your shape or your posture. It looks fantastic. Your arms are hanging really well. You got good wrist angle on your right wrist. So the new stuff you're staying on the wall pretty well going back. And since your hands and arms are in a better position, it's just going to pull you around. You can just see how much more coiled up you are look than you are here. Here you just more or less pick the club up, and you don't you don't have a whole lot of depth in your right hip or your right shoulder. You can see the difference here uh, as your right shoulder is more behind you. You still got the throwing angle, which is the angle we have in the right side, which we want to look at, which is really good. So uh, much better position from the top. So as we come down on the old stuff, you'll see right in here how quickly you lose your, your what we call store up, which is your lag or your angle between your, your hands and the club shaft. So it's released a little bit early. Here you can hold it more. So as you come back into it, you have a little bit bump with your lower body and you still have the same body angle as you do coming into it. And you can see here you're, you still have some store up. So your shaft is right here and your arm and your shaft. So you still have some good angles. So you should have more, you're going to come in more um, on top of the ball and you're covering the ball more. So you're going to compress it better. So you should have some more uh, feeling like you're compressing the ball better and hitting it more solid. So I like the, I like the look here on the, on the follow through also. You can see because you had to clear so quickly with your lower body and your, and your shoulders here, look at the difference in your right leg. Your, your right side has to basically catch up and and that's why it folds up and kind of chases after your left leg because you've, you've cleared so quickly. Here, because you're in a much better position, you're clearing it more with, uh, you're more square on. The impact position is just perfect. I mean, you get back to right where you're supposed to be. Still have the same body shape, looks very good. And your wrist angle is good coming in along with the shaft. So that's, that's awesome, looks much better. Here's what I'm talking about though. Uh, hands that are in the same position uh, look at the difference in the leg. That's the look. That's the look that we want to get because that basically means that you're more square on, and your arms had a chance to fall down in front of you better, and you can clear you can clear the shot with your right side versus clearing with your left. So here, your left, your right leg's trying to catch up to what your left side's doing, and here, your right side's dictating more of a, of a follow through. So big difference there in the looks of the follow through just in just in a week. So it's amazing what we can do when we just change. We get in a better position. The first two feet is the most important part of the swing. I got one more video to send you uh, as far as the comparison with Rod Pampling. We've got a couple things we still need to work on, though.